Welcome to another episode of What's Next with Mary Beaton. Today I'm going to be cooking a ham. Now you can make hams in a lot of different ways. You could smoke them, grill them, bake them, put them in a crock pot. Tomorrow I have a lot of people coming over for Easter. I'm going to church, so I want to be sure I have things ready. I'm going to do a crock pot. So here's what you'll need. Um, a ham. Any size is good. Mine's a spiral ham. It is going to be from Costco, and it comes with its own glaze package, which is very nice. So you'll need a ham. You're going to need a saucepan to make your glaze sauce in, a spoon to stir the glaze. Uh, wooden spoons are better, or if you have the, um, the hard plastic ones, you could use those as well. Not plastic, you know, the cooking ones, where it doesn't come right now and also a brush to then brush the glaze on. And you will need a crock pot, cutting boards with knife and measuring spoon, along with the gloves. So obviously we're gonna start with opening the ham and I'll show you what this spiral ham looks like. I've done these before and they're very, very good. I bake them, I put them in the crock pot Crock pot for some reason tends to be the easiest because I sliced it in advance. Now, okay, here's the paper. Now, if you're buying this from Costco, there is a recipe as well that you could use on their paper. I'm going to be using my own today. And I should have gotten scissors to open this. Oh, that work pretty easy. Okay. So I'm gonna open the ham first. So it drops a little bit more towards room temperature. It's been in the refrigerator. And then I'm gonna go make the glaze. And you'll see why I like the crock pot because the glaze goes on every single piece of it. So let's stop for a second here. This is my glaze package. I've emptied it in the pot. My flame is on very, very low. And I'm going to slowly put in the three tablespoons of water that it's asking for. And if you hear my dog in the background, it's because she knows there's ham. She's begging for it, obviously. And she actually got lucky because some of the juice fell on the floor when the ham opened. And um, that funny picture of hers right after she got some ham juice. And when you're cooking with your pets, always be very careful in making sure that nothing falls on the floor that they could be allergic to or that could harm them. Um, you don't want to be one of those sad stories that the dogs got very sick or, or worse because they ate something that they shouldn't. Okay, here's my glaze. We're just gonna heat it up till it's all nice and melted. And then we're going to brush it onto the ham slices. You could see that I'm cutting the ham off the bone. And I'm going to get it ready to go into the crock pot. And it does have a little bit more fat. So I did cut the fat off on some of the slices. And again, it's not that... You can't make it in other ways, but if you got a crowd coming over, you need to have it ready in advance. This is going to be a delicious way to have the ham. And um, be careful with your leftovers because they will run out the door with this one. The fun part, we're gonna put the big slices of ham in the crock pot. And remember, these hams are cooked for the most part when you're buying them. So you're really just heating them up. This is a thinner slice. I'm going to put that in a different spot. I want to start with the really thick ones on the bottom. There we go. And 
Contrary to when you only glaze the outside of the ham, this way, every slice is going to get plenty of that glaze on it. And that's what makes it so delicious. Um, I do, again, trim off a lot of the fat because I don't like my guests to have fatty ham. And for some reason, this one turned out a little bit more fatty than they usually do. Okay. And there you go. And we're going to keep doing this, putting the ham all in here. Now, I don't put in the tiny pieces that I'm going to use for soup. I just go ahead and leave those on the side. And what I'm going to do is before I leave for church, and again, you can prepare this a day in advance, I will pull this out, put the crock pot on, and not only will it stay warm if some of my guests are late, but it'll be perfect for when they arrive because within two hours at low heat, this is going to be absolutely perfect and it's already carved. Um, you could do a buffet where they come get their own. I have the table set in there, so I'm going to serve the food tomorrow. So I'm going to put this on a large serving plate um, along with some mashed potatoes and other dishes. But here it is, folks. I'll show you how it looks right before I finish this off and you could get the idea if this is going to work for you for a holiday ham. I am happy. I am done preparing my ham for my guests tomorrow. So if I was making this for today, I would plug it in now. And if you could see that, every single slice of ham has an evenly distributed honey glaze on it. So no one's going to get a better piece than another. It's already sliced up. I could serve it like this on a serving dish. Since this is for tomorrow, and I'm going to put it on right before going to church, I'm going to put this on the lid and put this part in the fridge. I will take this out at least 30 minutes beforehand so it's not going from cold to heat and then turn it on for a couple of hours. Now, I love pineapple flavored ham. So if this was just for me, I would put a couple of slices in and in between the ham and the aroma would be phenomenal. Because I have some people that I'm not sure if they like the pineapple or not, what I did is I used the same honey glaze on the pineapple and I'm going to bake this separately so that then they have the choice of if they want it on or not. And this could be made in the oven or a crock pot, however you want. And again, if everybody likes pineapple, just throw it on. So here it is. Um, easy recipe. The cleanup and everything's done before the party. Enjoy.